You read that thumbnail correctly. Python for Lego Spike Prime has returned. I'm in Dallas for a robotics tournament at the moment, but I wanted to make a short video about this latest update from Lego Education. When Spike Prime launched three years ago, it came with Python support that allowed students to take their first steps in coding with a typed programming language rather than with scratch coding blocks. Although it lacked some of the features that were available in the word blocks, like sounds and extensions, it had enough capability to keep a new programmer busy. A few months and updates down the track, however, things started to get a little strange. Spike Essential launched and the Spike app got more and more features, but the Python support seemed to get neglected or even downgraded. Now, Python features like code hints and prediction were removed for seemingly no reason, and complaints about the lacking features were not answered. And by Spike app version 3, Python was removed from the app altogether, which made content creators like me really anxious. But now, thankfully, Python has returned, although it is in the form of early access. Let me show you how to get Python running on the latest version of Spike. First, let's make sure you have version 3.2.4 downloaded, and then you hit Spike Prime. Now here, uh, if you try to start a new project, Python is still disabled by default, okay? Because Python is now in early access, you need to go down to the bottom left here, this cog that shows settings, and then you go into general, and then you uh, check this box that says to enable Python projects. And that's it. Now you have Python back on Spike. Just go new project, and then here's Python, and then you can create. So at first glance, it looks like Python for this new version has been completely reworked. You can go into getting started to learn about all the tutorials to get started with uh, using this version of Python. Uh, but the API modules, uh, they're not really up to date. So if you go to something like run loop, it would say that the run loop module contains all functions and constants to use the force sensor. Doesn't really sound right to me, but let me test out some of this code. I can do something like while one equals two, uh, give, oh, cool. See, there we got, um, code hinting back, which is great. Code hinting is one of those things that uh, people really wanted uh, and was removed for no reason. So um, uh, it is great that we have uh, code hinting back. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this new version of uh, Python stacks up with the old and existing versions of Spike Prime. It looks like it'll be some time before Python features are finalized, but this is where you come in. Download the latest version of Spike, be an early adopter, and help test out the new Python features. If you have any feedback or suggestions on improving Python for Spike Prime, then let us know in the comments section below, or drop an email to LEGO Education. That's it from me today. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.